Hey K drama fans, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the buzz around a new series that's making waves for all the right and wrong reasons. It's the highly anticipated Disney Plus K drama, The Tyrant. And while it's got everyone talking, not all the chatter is good. Let's get into it. On August 12th, The Tyrant made its grand debut, starring the incredibly talented Kim Seon Ho, alongside Cha Seung Hwan, Kim Kang Wo and Joo Yoon So. The series follows a gripping storyline about the race to recover a stolen by a weapon, with Kim Si and H O taking on the role of a national intelligence director, while Joo Yoon So plays a technician turned thief. Fans were excited for this thriller, especially after seeing the intense teasers that promised action, suspense, and some seriously dark themes. And when it comes to the plot, and the acting especially from Kim Seon Ho and Jo Yoon, so the show does not disappoint. The cast is delivering top-tier performances that really bring this story to life. But here's where things get a little tricky. Viewers have been quick to point out that the series is, quite literally, too dark to watch at times. The lighting in some scenes is so poor that it's hard to make out what's happening, and that's caused a bit of frustration. Social media is flooded with comments from viewers who love the storyline but are struggling to enjoy the show because of the awful lighting. It's one of those situations where you're completely invested in what's happening, but you just can't see it clearly, and that's a shame because the potential here is huge. So, is the tyrant worth watching despite the lighting issues? If you're a fan of intense, plot-driven dramas with strong performances, then yes the tyrant has a lot to offer, but be prepared for some visual challenges along the way. Have you checked out The Tyrant yet? What do you think of the lighting issues? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're loving the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest K-drama news. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on I Got News.